Y'all, I have fucking pizza rolls. I also have a tendency to sabotage my own happiness. The invisible life of Addie LaRue. <laughs> What the hell? Who was she? Where is she? Come back. This book is everything. Jan runs on Duncan in this bitch, okay? You a bad bitch. Treat yourself. We're gonna do some queen shit today. Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to my dedicated reading vlog for this month's full moon book club pick. Y'all saw I had a day already. It's about 3 p.m. now. In this vlog, I will. <laughs> We're gonna be reading Black Sunshine and I'm gonna share my spoiler free thoughts. Ah, there's someone who parked right by me! Ah, there's a Doberman right there in a little fucking vest! I'm screaming! Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So yeah, this vlog is about this book. It's a vampy, dark romance type thing. McKay is my guest this month. McKay from McKay's book vlogs. He said he already started it last night. He said it's a lot like City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So that kind of concerns me, but luckily I don't remember much from City of Bones. That's the only Cassie Clare book I've read earlier college or something. I'm hoping I like this book, but I did finish two books today, actually. I finished A Deal with the Elf King this morning. The vlog before this one is me pretty much just talking about that book because I read it for the, for the Kindle Unlimited readathon hosted by a couple of my friends. And then on my way to where I'm going, I just finished listening to While We Were Dating by Jasmine Guillory because I've said this in a couple vlogs now that on February 16th, there's a virtual event with Jasmine Guillory and Morgan Rogers, who wrote Honey Girl, which I loved. So I wanted to read Jasmine Guillory's newest book. I listened to it on audio and it also fulfills the buzzword for Kayla's buzzwordathon this month, which is just pronouns and we is in while we were dating, so love to see it. I gave it three stars. It has really good mental health rep and it talks a lot about therapy and how important it is for men and women, for everyone really. It discusses how minorities don't have access to therapy, how healthcare shouldn't be the way it is in America and stuff. So it's good in that sense. The romance itself was pretty cute. I'm not a fan of stories about like famous people really, minus you know Daisy Jones and the Six and Evelyn Hugo, that's a whole thing. But I don't know, it was like this Hollywood actress and there was fake dating. The sex scenes were kind of steamy, but it wasn't like you know overwhelmingly steamy, if that makes sense. It didn't do much for me. But like I said, this vlog is not about that book, it's about this one. So we're gonna start this soon. I stopped at a, a local coffee shop right now, so I'm gonna get me an iced lumber jack latte which is like the cinnamon maple syrup thing and i'm stoked because i passed two starbucks on the way here and i went on like an hour long drive okay i passed two starbucks on the way here i was in the wrong lane both times and i have a headache so your girl needs her coffee happy galentine's day everyone <laughs> Good morning. I got home this morning. I turned my heat off overnight. I got here and it was 59 degrees. So instead of being productive, I was defrosting in my bed and then I fell asleep and had a nightmare for a full hour, <laughs> pretty much. It was like, I woke up and then like a subscriber got into my house. She's like, oh, I live two doors down or whatever. And I was like, 
I didn't even question her being in my house. I like walked her home and talked with her. And then I got lost because apparently I moved somewhere new and I couldn't remember my address. And then I ended up at a mall and all these rude ass people were like not trying to help me. And then there was this one lady who did try to help me somehow. And then all these like rude dude bros were interrupting our conversation and shit. And I was just so anxious. It was so bad. And then I woke up and I was like, well, at least now I'm sweating. But yeah, it's taking forever for my apartment to warm up and it's all my fault. Let's go in here. Here, shall we? Let me put y'all down. Black sunshine. Oh, I'm gonna take photos in this outfit. Hello. I'm obsessed. I got 115 pages in last night. At first, I was kind of iffy and I was like, okay, it's gonna take me a while to get into. Nope, it's such quick writing. It's very readable and it's not like a whole new world. <laughs> Okay, Aladdin. It's not like a whole new, yeah, like world or magic system because it's just like stereotypical vampire shit, which is good. There are some elements in it, like crystals and stuff and like witchy things, but loving it. There have been a couple steamy scenes. They were very brief. I have a feeling it's gonna get a lot more intense. So it's about this girl who just turned 21. When females turn 21, that's when they start turning into vampires. And then when males turn 35, that's when they start changing. And then it mentions that if you don't identify as male nor female, then it could just happen somewhere in between those two ages. So that was cool that they mentioned that. <laughs> there's also a bisexual character. And there's a lot of talk about like the moon and Tara and that type of thing. It's a 415 page book and honestly I think I can blow through this in like the next couple days which is good because the live show is Saturday. It is now Monday so I'll end this vlog whenever I finish the book obviously and then I'm gonna start Akasif because the audiobook just came in last night and I'm so excited but for now this is what we're reading and I'm loving it. It sucks because it's not an easy book to find like I know the like Kindle Unlimited has it and then Amazon usually has it but people say like it's hard to find like at libraries and stuff which you know like it's technically erotica so I mean I didn't know that going in honestly I just heard dark romance and then vampires and I was like okay let's do February but I should have known honestly I should have known with that being said I don't think a lot of people are going to be attending the live show they might pop in because like, they're curious about like surface level thoughts or whatever but for in terms of like spoiler stuff I don't think there's going to be a lot of people because I only know like a couple of my friends who are actually reading it or who intend to read it because it's not everyone's cup of tea you know it's okay it's gonna be a good time because McKay is my guest and he is hilarious so I'm gonna go now and make food and then I have plans later it's valentine's day happy valentine's day y'all this is a friendly reminder to be your own fucking valentine if you don't have a valentine who cares you a bad bitch treat yourself whenever you're watching this pretend it's valentine's day pretend it's any day it doesn't matter just treat yourself today okay that is my little spiel hello hello i just got home from work i have a lot to talk about y'all okay let me set you down i gotta clean my apartment a little bit but I stopped by nothing bunt cakes and got a red velvet bunt cake for a little Valentine moment, you know? I went to TJ Maxx for something specific. I got this set of two tank tops with like the single spaghetti straps. I've gotten a couple from TJ Maxx before like this, maybe one, and I really liked it. And I have one from American Eagle that I really like too, so I wanted it in neutral colors. And then I got this Goosebumps hoodie for eight dollars no me and i both have a shirt that has this design on it but it was eight dollars y'all and it used to be 20 so i was like that's a steal haven't gotten a hoodie in a while so there's that okay so that's a little haul but i want to talk about my reader you guys i am obsessed i got so much reading done at work today because it was super slow i'm on page 190 now after i clean up a little bit i'm gonna try to squeeze in a little bit more reading before my plans but we'll see after this why is there so much going on on my phone after this, this is gonna be my fifth book that i own that i've read or technically my 10th book of the year but you know it's in sets of five if you watch my january book tag you'll know that that's one of my goals this year and so after this i could immediately buy the second book because i know i know this is gonna be five stars i was iffy at first i was talking to sarah last night and i was like okay i'm predicting a four but now i'm fucking hooked and i think it's gonna be a five the thing is i'm pretty sure i spoiled myself for a couple things because i was reading the synopsis of the sequel which is kind of unfortunate but it's fine it's fine it wasn't like huge so it's fine and it's not like I guess this is kind of big on plot too, so never mind. It is kind of a big deal, but that's okay. I can't believe I'm already almost halfway through it. I'm gonna finish this so fast. I'm so 
freaking excited. If Akasef weren't available on audio, I would go straight into the sequel, but I will hold off till at least after Akasef. I wanna pick up the sequel literally this month. Like I just wanna binge it, binge it all. It's only a duology. The second one's called The Blood is Love. And wow, I just, I'm in love. I just love vampire stories, y'all. Like, ugh. Now I really wanna read Empire of the Vampire 2 soon. And I wanna reread Dowry of Blood again. If y'all have any recommendations, let me know down below. Vampy dark romance like this, vampire just, I, I haven't read Dracula yet. So that is a big no-no, a big no-no for me. I do own it and I do wanna read it soon. I've read Carmilla. Ooh, I still gotta read Holly Black's vampire story, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I read The Coldest Touch earlier this year, or was it earlier? Or was it December? I think it was in December. You know what's crazy though? I actually haven't read Twilight yet. Like I read the first one twice, I think, or one and a half times. <laughs> I don't know. And then I think I read some of New Moon, but I just got rid of all of them because they got so water damaged when my apartment in Indiana got flooded. Got flooded, flooded. There was a leak in the ceiling. A leak is an understatement, but it literally just like collapsed a part of my ceiling and the water just started gushing. The only casualties book-wise were like library sale books and my Twilight books, so couldn't complain. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up my apartment now. <sighs> I just want to read this book. All okay, I have to do this update really quickly because a bitch needs coffee because I didn't have any at all yesterday and that's why I was like so off I feel like that's why I didn't vlog at all. I didn't feel like pulling out the camera I just hung out got bubble tea and watched some Netflix Then I spent the rest of the night alone just reading and then I fell asleep around like like not too late Like I think before midnight, but I ate a shit ton of chips and this morning I streamed with Jesse They were getting ready to film and I was eating my leftover subway Leftover. I had like two bites of it last night because I just like wasn't in the mood for a lot of things I read up to page 206 of Black Sunshine still loving it still loving the storyline. I'm so intrigued I do ship the two main characters. It, oh, it's so good I cannot wait to finish this one and then Akasif to get a, like a little buffer, you know before I start the second one of this because I know that's how it's gonna go Maybe not Maybe I'd be all fantasied out after Akasaf, but I'm definitely gonna read The Blood is Love very soon. I'm gonna go to work. I have work one to five. I told my parents I'd go to their house at some point tonight, but I also have to edit and upload a video today. It's Tuesday. Oh, I don't have to, but I haven't uploaded in a couple days, so okay, gotta go. I just needed to come on here and rage about the fact that Duncan discontinued their hazelnut syrup. I'm very devastated it was tragic hearing that news <laughs> hazelnut's my favorite so i had to get caramel i know first world probs but like listen jan runs on duncan in this bitch okay like <gasps> and then i spilled all over myself like pants and top so i thought today was gonna be a good day and then <laughs> hello it is like 11 35 now sarah just went to bed because she gets up early for work i'm probably gonna edit definitely read more of black sunshine because i'm obsessed and i get all giddy talking about it it's actually ridiculous oh my god wait so today at work a couple of my regulars came to the desk and <laughs> and they're like they're old men okay and they came up and basically asked me what i'm reading one like straight out said hey what are you reading and i turned so red i talk to this guy every day we have the same name so we like bonded over that and like he used to be a math teacher and everything and he's just really cool to talk to just turned so red and i was like oh god and he was like why are you embarrassed about it he was like you're looking a little red <laughs> and i was like yeah and then i told him that it was a vampire romance he's like okay okay like why are you embarrassed <laughs> i was like you know what sometimes you just crave something that lacks substance and he was like yeah like something mindless you know like it's all good and i was like like my hr lady was like kind of flipping through and because she was like what are all these colors for like my tabs and then i was trying to explain to her and like i was so scared she was gonna see some of my annotations or like something provocative just like at first glance it's all on me because i decided to read it while i was at the front desk at work but you gotta do what you gotta do you know my live shows very soon i'm gonna be reading more of this tonight i just know like this is gonna be one of the few books that i am just craving the sequel for you know i might even put off akasif a little bit longer just to read the second book but we'll see because i'm running out of february <laughs> too so speaking of i still have to put up my january wrap up and it's damn near the 16th already so fuck 
I am on page 248 now. I read it while I was on the elliptical at my mom's and I did like a little leg workout after. Yeah, I didn't vlog at my mom's, my bad. I'll try to at least get to 300 tonight and then finish it tomorrow, hopefully. But check my mail <laughs> and my friend Allison from college sent me a belated Christmas gift because we were supposed to see each other in December for a concert, but it got postponed and then we ended up not going. So we're gonna open this cute little gift on camera. Oh my God, Allison. Why is this the most thoughtful? They are the invisible life of Addie LaRue earrings. <laughs> Um, I have chills. Like, that is so freaking cute. I fucking love you, Allison, if you're watching this. Are you kidding? That is so cute. It's literally the little things for me. Like, this is so thoughtful. Like, she knows it's one of my favorite books of all time. Stop. Stop. That is so fucking cute. I'm actually obsessed. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go post about it on Instagram now, edit my video, and then read. Also, I look a little crazy because Love is Blind is fucking wild. If y'all haven't seen it, trust me on this one. If you're looking for some like trashy <laughs> reality TV, Love is Blind is where it's at. <laughs> I've come to the realization that I'm definitely one of those people who function better with less sleep because for weeks now I've been trying to get up at 7 a.m. right and I couldn't do it 7 to 7 30 couldn't do it I just keep snoozing sleeping in I would get up maybe go pee and then go back to sleep things like that you know today after getting like four hours of sleep because I slept at 3 a.m. trying to edit my on my way to healing playlist and then reading still I got up at 7 30 I read like two chapters and then I went to shower and I have this sudden urge to take myself out to breakfast because I don't work until 1. It's 10 right now. So I've got time and I am craving a good skillet, get a full breakfast in so that it fills me up until the end of my shift so then I can work out as soon as I get out of work. And then I have a virtual event, that Jasmine Guillory event and that I'm gonna just like tune in on at 7. So if all goes as planned, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna take y'all. I'm like in this like mindset to romanticize my life, you know, and just like do what makes me happy and do the things that bring me absolute joy and being unapologetic about it and not feeling guilty for spending money and treating myself but obviously not like overdoing it and then also finding like free ways to be happy <laughs> I guess and yeah it's been great it's crazy how much like once you set your mind to something it's crazy how much it shifts so quickly I don't know if that's just me it might just be me because I'm very like I have impulsive tendencies and wow this is getting really deep but yeah, I've just always been that way. Like, I don't know how long this will last because I have, I also have a tendency to sabotage my own happiness. Like when it's getting too good to be true in my head, like I feel like I gotta do something to, you know, fuck things up. But we're not gonna do that this time, okay, Jad? Like, fine, we're gonna read this good ass book and <laughs> just have the time of our freaking lives. I'm a little bit anxious because I've never gone to like a restaurant solo before. I've gone to like, I guess it's not really any different than like fast food places and coffee shops, but like there's just something about like ordering and yeah, it's just, sorry, I can't even hold the freaking camera correctly, but I've gone to the movies alone. So this shouldn't be too bad. I, I'm just gonna hide behind my vampire erotica, you know? It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna do some queen shit today. She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She a diva like my daughter Gotta have it, she all done it. Mission accomplished. It was really fun. Just like zoning in on my book, you know, feeling like a bad bitch, being so low and <laughs> getting my food and everything. And I'm full now. 
but a bitch still needs coffee. So I feel like I've said that like six times this day in this vlog. I just found one that's like five minutes from where I work. So it's 11.30 right now. I'm gonna get there. I'll probably be able to spend like almost an hour there. So let's roll. I'm so excited. Today is such a good day. Oh, I was also gonna say, I was trying to keep a straight face <laughs> while reading some of these sex scenes. It was so difficult because I was like obsessed. It wasn't even that I was like really embarrassed. I was kind of just like obsessed, you know? It was just so fucking cute. And then the main love interest. Okay, I'm just gonna say it because like, if you're watching this, you probably maybe have read the book or whatever. But Solon, Solon, Absalon was like, you're my weakness. I never had one until now. Until you and I fucking died. Oh. And then he went on a fucking rampage and was just literally ripping hearts out. And I was like, get you a man who, I guess. He's literally like, if any of you touch her again, this is what will happen. Oh my God, bro. This book is everything. I'm so excited to get the sequel. Like, I wish Barnes & Noble had it so I could continue this like treat yourself moment and buy it tonight because I'm definitely finishing this tonight. Like, no doubt about it. I'm 100 pages away from finishing, so it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna order the sequel tonight, which will motivate me to finish Akasif as fast as possible so then I can get to the sequel. I'm obviously gonna vlog the sequel experience as well. Spoiler free. This is also spoiler free. That, like, ripping heart thing is kind of, it's not really a spoiler, it's just like a scene that happens way later in the book. You're still gonna get the intensity of it. When it comes, you're, you, you know. And if she see it, if she cop it She don't care if you don't like her She rockin' crow necks with some bad she never heard of Black skinny jeans, docks on in her hair done Got an attitude, she'll give it to your face She don't really care what anybody thinks She addicted, she addicted To the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that Cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seems That's Jasmine Guillory And that's Morgan Rogers Love to see it Paper straws Cause she gotta say the plan And wildflower case Match a fit Cause she planning She a killer with some money on the way Gotta pack up and move to LA She don't need a man She gon' do it her own way Take him out on a date And she pay She a dick she addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that, cause she ain't that No, she is more than she seem She addicted, she addicted to the manicures and coffee But don't say that And I are watching the hating game This bitch forgot to hit play We're here st staring at the screen like, when's it gonna start? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Y'all, I have fucking pizza rolls Amazing. I'm I was about to eat expired chia seeds on expired bread with peanut butter I'm struggling over here I hate grocery shopping that much that I was willing to eat that and then I realized I have pizza rolls I also have rice that I can make but a bitch is lazy. I also have ramen that I can make But all my shit to make the ramen is in the sink and again a bitch is lazy So pizza rolls for dinner it is Kat is having technical difficulties, so we're gonna make some food. Just finished the hating game with Kat, and it was really good. There she Mom is. Mom is like you're raw you mean. I know, <laughs> there she is. I am going to finish the last 35 pages of Black Sunshine tonight. Like, I'm not sleeping until that happens. It's only 11.45, it'll be fine. But I'm still running on four hours of sleep, mind you. And I did a lot today. Honestly, I did a freaking lot today. But we're gonna finish this, we're gonna end this vlog. We're gonna start Act of tomorrow. Dude, I've only read six books this month. Only two of them were from my TBR of 10. And I'm just, I'm just lagging. Last year, I remember in January, I read like over 20 books, I think. And like, who the fuck was I? I kind of want to see how many I read in February last year. Oh, I still got to make my freaking spreads for my favorite book of January. Ah, why do I set so many freaking goals for myself? Fuck. Holy shit. Why is that so long?
I read that many books in February last what week. What the heck? What the? Did you live a life? Oh my <laughs> god! You know why? Because that was like the start of me and Sarah's friendship. And Sarah reads mm. like a fucking monster. So she got me reading a shit ton. Damn, I had a yeah. lot of five stars that month too. One, two, three, four, five, six. 20 books in 28 days? Who the fuck? And some Damn. of them some of them were ebooks. What the hell? Who was she? Where is she? Come back. <laughs> Honestly, I read 23 books in January last year. I read 13 this year. That's disgusting. And then Tis the Damn Readathon is next month, so I'm gonna have to read like at least 10 books for sure. About, um, about doing it at first. My spreads were so freaking cute for the Tis the Damn Readathon last year. Yeah. Wow. Seriously, where is she? This is ridiculous. Like, when did I stop trying? Oh my god, my Sabrina spread? Yeah, I remember that. And then it all went downhill, I think. In August, right? Definitely in August. Anyway, oh shit, my camera's dying. I forgot I was still filming, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna go charge. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to share my library haul. So I got Homicide and Halo Halo, which is the second book to the Tita Rosie's Kitchen mystery thing, the Arsenic and Adobo. I told myself I wasn't going to read this, but I'm actually going to read it. It's only 253 pages. Ow. Should be <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then I got Jenny Lawson's Broken in the Best Possible Way. This is a memoir. Seems like a fun time. She's the author for the virtual event discussion thing for next month. So so I decided to grab the book now and this is the book they're gonna discuss so for realsies goodbye for now I'm nearing the end so quickly and I'm literally dying I look crazy I just wiped like all my makeup off yo like this book is making me want to be loved by a vampire like it's so okay yes it's very cringy at times but like, it's so good when it's not cheesy, you know? When it's not cringy. Did I say cringy the first time or cheesy? I don't remember. <laughs> it's so cute. I just highlighted the shit out of this page. He was literally like, you're my purpose. And I fucking lost it. I cannot stop squealing. I can't wait for the second book. Oh my God. Why am I? No. No, Jan, you cannot turn into a romance reader. Like all I want to read is romance right now. No, not happening. We are a wide variety of genres on this channel. I'm just in a big romance mood. And like, this is the perfect romance. I think the next vampire book I'm going to read after the sequel to this would be Empire of the Vampire. I'm not going to be able to wait till October for that one. I only have a few vampire books left, so I need to like restock. But anywho, Black Sunshine, dude. I think this is definitely my favorite book of the, not book of the month, book club pick so far. There's no doubt in my mind that it's five stars. Obviously, I'm like 20 pages away from finishing it. But it was just such a wild ride. You know, in fantasies, especially like vampires and witches, it's always that trope where it's like, oh, the main character didn't know that they had these powers type thing. And it's like cliche sometimes. In here, it was done so well, but I can't like put my finger on why it stood out to me so much compared to others. I don't know if it's because of the erotica. I don't think so. It's just the way it's written. Yeah, I don't know. I really like the feel of this paperback and the font of this book. And I broke the spine and I creased the cover on accident and it's just well loved. I just had to talk about that. Kat is still reading with me so hopefully the next time I update I would have finished this book. Goodbye. I have 15 pages left. 14 pages. Oh my, I love when characters talk about the little things about each other. Like in the Hating Gate, that movie, I freaking mm. damn near cried. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. Oh my god, it says, you really do bring me to my knees. Who do we? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm referring to? Mojo? <laughs> oh my. Remember? Oh shit, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> It's the final countdown. <laughs> My last five pages. <sighs> I'm so sad. I swear to God, this is the dumbest ending I've ever read in my life. It should be an epilogue. Like, why is it the last chapter? It should be an epilogue. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, he did not just freaking say that, bro. Oh my God, that is the most cringy shit I have ever read. Why is everyone falling to their fucking knees, bro? <laughs> Oh! All right, I'm immediately buying the sequel now. Okay. 
Yeah. So, obviously five stars. Favorite book club pick by far. Dude, vampires are my favorite freaking paranormal creatures if you haven't already guessed from my obsession with the dowry of blood. Dude, why? Why am I so obsessed with vampires? And like the only anime I've ever watched is Castlevania because vampires. Like that's the only reason I was able to be convinced to watch anime. Vampathon's like one of my favorite readathons. Damn, I'm obsessed. That's kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> the chemistry was all there. Not a second was I bored at any point in this book ever. Like I was intrigued the entire time and I wanted to never stop reading it. Yo, like this is top 10 of 2022 for freaking sure. Hopefully the sequel lives up to this one. It has some humor too. And then it's like also pretty much urban fantasy because it like talks about like modern shit. I don't really know what, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I don't really know what urban fantasy is in technical terms. It reminded me, some of the like humor and like modern references, whatever, reminded me of Book of Night. And then Jesse told me that Book of Night is considered urban fantasy. So like, anyway, I, I don't even know what else to say. I'm so excited for the live show. And like more people have read it than I thought because people were messaging me all day today saying they've read it and they can't wait for the live show. But there were so many good lines in this book. I melted so many times. I laughed so many times, screamed, squealed, damn near cried i got mad a couple times too and also disgusted so yeah every emotion under the sun this book has made me feel and you know we love to see it i was not expecting to love it this much i bought this in july of last year and i did not have the like urge to pick it up until i picked it as a book club pick i'm so happy <laughs> all right that is all we're gonna end the vlog here i will link the live show down below because it'll be up by the time this vlog up because i'm so behind with editing if you made it to the end of this video what a vampire emoji down below obviously thank you so much for watching hope y'all had a great day stay safe ew why did i wink like that oh my god start over jan thank you so much for watching hope y'all had a great day stay safe and stay positive always and i'll see y'all in my next video bye